In this video, we will discuss about particle equilibrium and rigid body equilibrium. Equilibrium is the most basic and important concept in engineering analysis. The ability to understand mechanics and many other engineering disciplines is dependent on mastering the concept of equilibrium. First of all, let's see what is equilibrium. Equilibrium is a condition, in which, the resultant of all forces acting, is zero. Then, what do you mean by, particle equilibrium? Before that, we first need to know, what is a particle? A particle is a body, whose size, does not have any affect, on the results of, mechanical analysis on it. And, therefore, its dimensions can be neglected. So, a particle is, just like a point, which is not having a size. Therefore, a particle is said to be, in equilibrium, if it is stationary, or, it moves uniformly, relative to an inertial reference frame. We can also, say it in another way. That is, a particle is said to be, in equilibrium, if the vector sum of the external forces acting on it, is zero. For example, if there are only two forces, acting on a particle that is in equilibrium, then the two forces must be, equal in magnitude, and, opposite in direction, with the point of application being the same. And, if three forces, act on a particle that is in equilibrium, then, when the three forces are placed end to end, they must form a triangle. Hence, we say, a particle is in equilibrium, if it is at rest, and, remains at rest or, it moves with constant velocity. If the force is acting, on a particle that is in equilibrium, and, if the forces are in the same plane, the conditions for 2D equilibrium are, given as sigma fx equals zero, sigma fy equals zero. If the force is acting, on a particle that is in equilibrium, and, if they are not in the same plane, the conditions for 3D equilibrium are given as sigma fx equals zero, sigma fy equals zero, sigma fz equals zero. Rigid body equilibrium. A body is formed by a group of particles. The size of a body affects the results of any mechanical analysis on it. A body is said to be rigid when the relative positions of its particles are always fixed and, do not change, when the body is acted upon, by any load. A rigid body is said to be in equilibrium, if all the particles, that make the body, are in equilibrium. In general, a force acting on a particle, tends to cause the particle, to translate. Similarly, a force on a body, not only tends to cause, the body to translate, as in the case of the particle, but also tends to cause, the body to rotate, about any axis, which does not intersect with, or, is not parallel, to the line of action of the force. This tendency to rotate, is called the, moment. If a body is in static equilibrium, again, the sum of the forces vectorially, has to be equal to zero. And the sum of the moments about any point, P, has to be equal to zero. If there are, two forces acting, on a rigid body that is in equilibrium. And if they are in the same plane, the conditions for 2D equilibrium are. Given as sigma fx equals zero, sigma fy equals zero. And sum of moment of forces, sigma mp equals zero. If there are, three forces acting, on a rigid body that is in equilibrium. And if they are in the different plane. The conditions for 3D equilibrium are given as sigma fx equals zero, sigma fy equals zero, sigma fz equals zero. And sum of moment of forces, sigma mx equals zero, sigma my equals zero, sigma mz equals zero. In this video, we have discussed about particle equilibrium and rigid body equilibrium. 